Have you been wondering if it's actually better to buy an existing home here in Milwaukee or if you better should be looking at new construction? That is actually a really good question, especially now with where home prices are going. We just wrapped up this one here behind me. Let me tell you the story, how my clients looked at the whole issue, contemplated the pros and cons, and ultimately how they made their decision. When your family is growing and your kids need more space, it might be time to upgrade to a bigger house. Home prices have gone up in Milwaukee over the last years. And if you are looking for a little bit more square footage, maybe an extra bedroom or an additional bath, you are very quickly looking at $350,000 to $450,000 homes. The issue is that these homes are also older and often look a little bit dated, suggesting additional remodeling expenses down the line. So the question is, at what point does it actually make sense to consider new construction? I just went through this with our long-term clients Terry and Todd and here is their backstory. We were initially looking for homes around $400,000 but what they found is that a lot of the existing homes were a little smaller than they had hoped for as an upgrade from the old home and on top of that most of them also needed a little bit of work. So paint and carpet were basically given almost every time. On top of that we would either contemplate a major kitchen remodel or new windows, sometimes both. Typically we would also find the HVAC system or the roof nearing the end of their useful life, so still okay, but would have to be replaced in the next five years or so. None of these items are cheap by themselves, let alone several of them combined. So they decided to take a look at new construction to find out if it would be worth it. I'll tell you how they decided in a minute, but first let's take a look at a new build. Most builders offer spec homes for sale that are moving ready in about 60 to 90 days. The majority of spec homes, or also called ready homes, is currently priced here between $500,000 and $700,000. This home here is the Catalina model from Harbor Homes, very popular with young families and we've probably closed four or five of them this year representing the buyer in the transaction. This is a four bedroom home with the bedrooms upstairs, an additional flex room on the main floor, two and a half bathrooms and a total of over 2300 square feet of living space and that is not counting the unfinished basement. The family room features a gas fireplace, an open concept layout that flows to a dinette area in front of the patio door and then opens up to a large kitchen. What stands out here are the tall ceilings and the open feel, especially when you compare it to an older house. The kitchen offers plenty of cabinet space, plus a pantry and a large island with seating for at least three people. When you enter the house from the three car garage, you find a drop zone for the keys and the mail, as well as built-in lockers for shoes and jackets. On the main floor, there's also a flex room with French doors, which typically gets used as a home office. If the flex room would have a closet, this home would be technically a five bedroom house. Also on the main floor is a laundry room with hookups for wash and dryer and a powder room. Going upstairs, we have a wide hallway that leads to the owner suite with a nice tray ceiling, an attached ensuite bathroom, of course, double sinks and a walk-in shower. Also included is a large walk-in closet with rows of hangers on both sides. Back in the hallway, we have here bedrooms number two, three and four as well as another full bathroom with a shower top combo. Heading down into the basement, we have here a big open space that is already set up to be finished in the future with extra tall ceilings. The plumbing for an additional bathroom is already under the concrete floor, which saves a lot of time and money when you put a bathroom in. All the mechanicals are nicely tucked away in one corner with a high efficiency HVAC system, water heater, and in this case with city water and city sewer. New homes are much better insulated, therefore also more energy efficient, both in summer and winter. This is very visible, for example, here in the basement, when you look up where the house sits on the concrete wall, usually a major air leak in older houses. The spray foam insulation in the box sill provides an airtight seal. It makes the house a lot warmer and it also keeps the bugs out. By the way, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much.
So this particular home was listed for $485,000. We agreed with the builder that they would also include the concrete driveway and the lawn for an additional fee. The benefit of doing this is to roll the cost of that into the purchase price and with that also into the mortgage as opposed to cash out of pocket. When we did the math, our buyers found that their mortgage payment would be about $500 more per month compared to an existing home, but overall worth it, considering that they did not have to budget for remodeling or for big replacement projects. The monthly $500 difference did also not include potential savings on heating and cooling bills due to the higher efficiency. And in many cases, we also find that the property taxes are considerably lower in the surrounding counties compared to Milwaukee. Now in all fairness, there are also some additional costs that come with new houses, for example, planting trees and flower beds, installing window treatments and curtains, and in this case also, let's not forget appliances. On the positive side, you don't have to budget for new windows and a new roof and new HVAC. And with the new construction home, all of these things are at the beginning of the design life. And in fact, when you sell a home after 10 years, it is still considered a younger home and therefore very desirable, which also means a higher resale price. So financially, this is definitely an interesting comparison. They definitely got a lot of house for the money. But lifestyle is another question to consider. Living in a new development does not have the same charm of an old neighborhood with mature trees and the walkability to a coffee shop. But on the other hand, you usually have a lot of families with young kids of similar age. So in this case, our clients decided to move forward with the new home. We closed on their old house yesterday. The moving pods have just been dropped off here and they're excited to spend the first night in their new house. Of course, in the end, it's all about personal preferences. You should really feel excited about your new home. And I always tell clients if the idea that someone else is going to write an offer before you get to it makes you feel a little sick in your stomach, you know you found the right house. So which one do you like better? Old homes with charm or new construction with modern features? Most people feel strongly one way or another. I would love to see your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you're still on the fence for a new construction home, let me set you up with access to the MLS. I can create a custom search specifically for a new construction and the second one for existing homes. So you can efficiently compare them side by side and see which option feels better for you. The other piece of information that you will need is the fair market value of your current home. So you know how much equity you have, which you can roll into your down payment for the new house. And I can certainly help with that. Just send me a quick email at m.auerbach at kw.com and I will get that going for you. You can also give me a call or text me at the number here on the screen. This is my cell phone. And if you live in the Milwaukee area watching this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and stay updated on everything around Milwaukee real estate. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.